Hooray! Happy holidays, everyone. Um, well, this is not an ordinary pan. In fact, I just pulled it out of the freezer, of all things. And you can see where the condensation is building up on it and freezing, but it doesn't do that here because graphene is hydrophobic. And of course, you can see phobic. Why am I an idiot? Anyway, hydrophobic. But you can see the outside of the pan is got plenty of that goodness. Well, that's one of the things about this coating. Um, it's not nonstick uh, because the base of the coating is not a nonstick material, but I have made a graphene, a highly loaded version of this that was sort of nonstick. And when I say sort of, I mean it was it was kind of like it was kind of like an old Teflon pan, you know, that's been used a couple times, and it's not like super non-sticky, you, you know. But the egg, you know, when you cook an egg on it, it was something else because of the thermal conductivity of the coating. Now, if you can see, it, there we go, thirty-three point two degrees, and then on the back side. it's 48 degrees. Why is that? Well, simply this. That stuff gets rid of the heat. All the heat is coming out of it. And I'm going to show you another neat experiment because I have the hot plate out and I'll just turn the sucker on. Uh, turning up to 10 is something else. Pretty. We're going to see a pretty fast change. But, yeah, yeah, you can see. I mean, we're talking about frozen. I was doing deep cycle testing um, for cold stuff. And so we're going to see how this slowly gets hot. Well, it won't be that slow anyway, but you can see the hot plate edge. Actually, we can do this number. You can see that it's only 55, 54 degrees. And this side is 142. So it's going to get hot really quick. And of course, that's getting hot very quickly. Um, and you'll notice this. We'll get it up to a couple hundred degrees in just a minute. I know, we're watching a thermometer change. Blah, blah, blah. This sucks. But this coating here is pretty useful for a lot of things. I'm not going to get into everything that it can do. But it's something else. It is, well, basically it's the same kind of thing that you would expect out of a graphene related coating. Let's see, what's the bottom of the sucker like here? You can see, I mean, that's the do 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 do, you know. And that's the same edge on the in, on the inside as the outside. So on the inside of the pan, talking 91 degrees, and on the outside, uh, now we're getting there. Yeah, now it's starting to heat up. <laughs> but, you know. I mean, it would get hot fairly quickly. Um, do, 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 do. This might be a boring video. Uh, but it's the last video of the year, I think. I might be doing some others. I've got I've got a bunch of other things lined up, but I'm waiting on certain people to get their testing done. Um, and their their whole whatever. So you know how this works, right? You gotta watch a, mi a video for four and a half minutes to watch just garbage. <laughs> Yeah, I would say it's pretty warm now. This difference of just the handle.
I want to get it really hot and for a reason. And I want to do this all uncut for a reason. I'm going to get to about 300 and then you'll get to see something really, really crazy. And then it explodes. No, I'm just kidding. Right, we're 300. Almost all the way around. Let's make sure that every spot on this sucker reads 300. Yeah, yeah, it's a little... These things aren't the most accurate thing in the whole world. I mean, they're, they're pretty accurate, but they're spot and all that. Anyway, so we got about 300. Flip it. What is that? <laughs> 120. That's right. That was touching the hot surface right here, which is now 500 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I just melted some of the plastic here that I was using. still 300 and the other side is 150 well 120 how about that folks basically what's going on here is the the heat is wicking through the actual energy is coming up and being pulled by the graphene basically like a better conductor because this coating is about five times the heat conductor of aluminum it's better than silver. It's better than just about any metal that you're going to get. Stainless steel is not very good. It's like 64 to 68 or 54 to 68. Depends on the grade. Watch per meter Kelvin. Aluminum, if I remember right, is about 128 or, or maybe it's 228. Uh, silver is 410. Uh, this coating right here is above silver in uh, heat conductivity. Uh, so it's something else it well it melted that thing pretty well so when you throw something on here like an egg you can watch it literally instantly cook it so fast it, it, if you've cooked a lot of eggs like I have and anybody else you know that's lived on their own I guess and cooked on their own or people that have worked at uh, restaurants or whatever when you cook an egg on a pan it, it'll sear and do that thing. Well, imagine if it instantly cooked it completely through. It's really strange. It's, it's something else. Uh, it, it acts differently. So that was one of the things I've done with this. Uh, I've done a couple other things. Uh, this coating is food safe and it's non, it won't scratch. That's the little razor blade out, but it won't. It won't do that. It won't uh, go through as much. Uh, you know, try to do that with a Teflon pan. It's just not going to happen. Of course, this is not nonstick. So, and you will scratch it. I mean, it, you, with the razor knife, you can scratch it, but it's it's pretty durable. I'm I'm just telling you. So, anyway, that's what I was up to. Uh, there's some other stuff. Obviously, you can see some plastics and some other goodies that are going on here but uh, those things will be I think after the new year because this stuff is all getting tested and run through and ugh, it's just it's a lot of effort I'll, I'll just say that there's a lot of things going on and uh, 2018 looks pretty good I was hoping that 2017 would be as good as the promise of 2018 but uh, unfortunately there's a lot of things that got in the way and ugh, <laughs> oh, if you guys only knew. I, 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 the stuff I can't say is hilarious compared to the stuff that I can say. So, anyway, thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day. Or, well, happy holidays or ha Merry Christmas. Uh, have a great New Year, all of you.
Um, I hope all of you have just as good, if not better, New Year than I do. How about that? Ta-da! Little season's greetings. And then uh, for what is his name that keeps going fake, that is awesome. I love it. It That's actually real trolling at its best. There's a couple guys out there that are saying hilarious stuff. One guy did the plastic dildo thing. That was awesome. Uh, there's a couple other ones. Anyway, yeah, I greeted the trolls. Yeah, that's how good this is. All right, see you guys later. Bye.